Master your mindset. Oh man, that sounds heavy, doesn't it? Well, actually, by incorporating these three simple daily habits into your life, you can change your life. You can get more enthusiasm and energy. You can improve your optimism so that you're able to pursue your goals and do good in the world with vigor. And that's what we'll cover in this video. I'm Bob Baker, and every week on my channel, I publish things like morning affirmations, guided meditations, and inspirational messages just like this to help you live a more empowered life. So why do we need to master our mindset? Well, because left to our own devices, our minds kind of play tricks on us. Over time, we tell ourselves stories. We develop beliefs and attitudes and perspectives that may or may not serve us. And usually these things are operating on autopilot under the surface on a subconscious level and you're not even aware that you're being guided by this internal operating system. A lot of people just go through life and think that their thoughts and their feelings and their insecurities and all this stuff are just things that happen to them naturally. But if you do any kind of research or personal growth work, you quickly find that you can actually influence this operating system, this perspective, this mindset. And you can change your outlook on life and the way that you show up in the world. However, to do that, first of all, it takes awareness, but it also takes a practice. It takes developing new habits. And in this video, I'm going to share with you three of the most powerful habits that you can develop to be able to master your mindset. So let's jump into this with daily habit number one, and that is to start your day by setting the tone, by being intentional, laying a foundation that's going to serve you. Most people just wake up and they get out of bed and they dive right into their daily activities. They hop on their phone, they check email, they start worrying about all the things that are bothering them. Again, they're kind of like unconsciously just going through life but you'll set yourself up for success by doing this simple thing. Before you get into your day, as soon as you get out of bed, first thing in the morning, listen to something that's going to lift you up. Listen to a guided meditation or an affirmation recording or read something inspirational. Take control of your day by deciding how you want to live it. Set an expectation that this is going to be an amazing day, that you're going to be in a good mood, that you're going to look around and recognize opportunities, maybe have a few laughs and enjoy yourself by God. And this is not being delusional, it's just being proactive, it's being intentional with how you launch into your day. And of course, there are other daily morning routines like, you know, exercising and making sure you get a nutritious breakfast and all, but mentally prepare your mindset by focusing on something positive that's going to inspire you, that's going to set the tone and lay the foundation for an awesome day. So daily habit number two is to do some simple journal work and write down some empowering thoughts right after you listen or read something inspiring. Why write it down? Because it's the first baby step to taking it from your mind in the intangible realm and making it tangible. You're writing it down. It's now becoming real in the 3D world. Now here are the types of things that you can write. One is to maybe write out some of your favorite affirmations from that morning, something you're really feeling good and inspired about. Also, I think it's great to list a quality that you're choosing to embody that day. And again, just don't go through your day on autopilot. Be intentional. You choose, you decide, you direct your day by writing this stuff down. And another thing I think is really helpful is to write down one simple action step that you're going to take that day to feed your soul or to move you closer to a personal goal. So I'm not talking about something like take the car in to get the oil changed or a doctor's appointment. That's stuff that's going to be on your calendar anyway. Choose one simple baby step that you'll take every day towards something that is meaningful to you. Maybe it's to write a song or to work on the chapter of the book that you want to publish. Maybe it's visit a museum or do something for yourself that feeds your soul or that nourishes you in some way. Because we often neglect these things and end up frustrated and we don't even know why. So write it down and commit to a quality and a small action step that you're going to take. So what's daily habit number three, you ask? Well, it just so happens to be something that you do before bedtime. So you've done the first two steps in the morning, but at night before you drift off to sleep, take a little time before you go to bed to do two quick things. The first one again has to do with some writing in a journal or a notebook. 
This doesn't have to be long and drawn out. You can just spend a couple of minutes doing this and make it super simple, but it's so important. One, write down any lessons that you learned that day. Whether you feel you had a good day or a bad day, I guess especially if you feel like some things didn't go right, instead of focusing on what went wrong, write down the lessons that you learned. How will you handle that situation differently in the future? Try to put some positive spin on it that you can use to improve your outlook. A couple other things you should write down is who and what are you grateful for? Gratitude is such a powerful thing to think about and to express. So write down at the end of your day, thinking over what has transpired that day, what are you grateful for? What happened that you are so thankful for? Who in your life can you just take a few seconds and just ponder how much they mean and how lucky you are to have those people in your life? Powerful stuff. And then finally, write down evidence of good in your life. Evidence of abundance and prosperity. It's so easy to focus on the negative and what went wrong. It's so easy to be offended by what this person did and that person said. But that doesn't serve you. So write down evidence that people are good, that your life is blessed. And believe me, you will feel more empowered. Then after you do that simple journal writing, put on a recording that you can listen to as you drift off to sleep. An affirmation recording is ideal because as you lay there and drift off to sleep, words of empowerment, affirmations, optimism, positivity will get infused into your brain. And what a wonderful way to end the day. So those are the three daily habits that can change your life, that can help you master your mindset. Number one is listen to or read something inspiring as soon as you get up in the morning. Two is write down affirmative statements, your intention for the day, what quality are you gonna bring to that day? And what is one simple action step that you will take toward a personal goal or to feed your soul? And then at the very end of the day, before you go to sleep, write down what you're grateful for, lessons learned that day, evidence of good in the world, and then play a recording and drift off to sleep to the sounds of positivity. I guarantee you, if you make this a daily practice, do these simple things, it doesn't have to take a long time. It shouldn't be a burden to incorporate these things into your life. You do that, and over the course of a week or two, you'll start to notice a difference in your outlook. People will start asking, what's got into you? I want what he's having or she's having. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell when you do so you don't miss a video. And leave a comment below to let me know what you think of these daily habits. All right, thanks for listening. Don't forget, master your mindset. This is Bob Baker saying so long for now.